Oh, hi there. Um, I want to sample my Atom 1X and I found a program where I can automate the sample process. Um, it's called Sample Robot. And um, with Sample Robot, you can um, enter the, the sounds you want to sample and you can um oh i did that here uh, by the way these are um the 47 drum kits from the aaron one x that i want to have sampled um what is important is that you enter the range um from every kit for example um drum kit number three has samples from the 16 midi note to 84 here and here you see that every step is sampled because it are drum sounds when you have chromatic sounds you can choose for every sixth note or something like that um so uh what else oh yeah, yeah for example there are other kits in there that have um let's see 22 maybe or here here this one uh, is much smaller um to to know um where the sounds are you have to um find the midi implementation from your um, groove box or synthesizer um, this is the the list from the rm1x one, one uh, and here you see for example that um, kit number 26 uh, starts on note number 27 and um, ends on 71 um, other important things are for example the bank MSB and the bank LSB, the most significant byte and the um, last, the last significant byte. Um, anyway, um, those numbers, for example, uh, let's take um, um, this bank again, the uh, number 26, for example. Um, you have to enter those correctly for every bank because it needs to jump, you know, sample, uh, where, where is 21, 20, 21. So um, this is the project for drum kit 21. There is one multi sample I could make layers here, but because it, it are drum sounds, we only need one layer and um, in that layer um, you enter the range as i said here and then here you um, in the in and outputs you enter the program uh, message the program change uh, must be activated uh, it's 21 here and then in the midi cc there is control zero uh, plus 32 and that is the uh, MSB and the LSB for the program and bank change. So the 126 and the zero, they are found here. Okay, um, for example, um, the last drum bank is drum bank um, 47, but it's called um, GM stand kit one, and there you need to enter the bank MSB 127, LSB zero, and then it's program change one again. Um, the other things, uh, the audio inputs, um, the RM1X is going into the one, the first and second input of my RM. E fireface. Um, what else do we have? Oh yeah, the the bitrate uh, sample format 
44.1 kilohertz, it's stereo 16 bits. Uh, the MIDI out device is also very important because it needs to, to jump from one to another. The, the cool thing is, I think I can sh even show you. Uh, let's see, let's see. If I here, if I click on, let's say, what, what do we have here? So at the moment it's on uh, bank 21, as you can see uh, there. So I jump now on the screen. Yeah, it's already working. Great. Mm, anyway, so um, there are some um, some audio outputs. I configured the MIDI in. I did uh, the audio in MIDI out. Yeah, and. Um, Sample Robot has um, a shortcut, and the shortcut says that you can um, start automatic recording for all the projects. And that was uh, the only way or the way I found to um, sample all the 46, 47 drum kits at once. Um, that's why I created um, 47 drum kits and every kit has a, a multi-sample in it. Um, oh, maybe I should rename it. Oh, damn, I think I made a mistake here. This one was selected. Uh, this name is not important, just for me to make it not too confusing. So um, that's it, in fact. Um, you can do a lot more. For example, um, as you can see here, there is a record pause option. Uh, it's standard, it's on three and a half seconds. Um, I hope it is set to zero for every every kit now. I have automatic loop uh, not activated because it are single shots, so I hope it is not important for that. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, oh yeah, here, so about the Control Alt Air starts automatic recording for all for all projects. So um, let's try it. Um, I so I, I tried it before and I can press it as much as I want, but um, it is not working. Just not working. Wait a second. Oh, hmm. okay, I got it working. Uh, anyway, uh, if it's not working, you can choose it here in the recording. Uh, but as you can see, it says record all projects automatic mode. Um, let's try it out. Um, I cannot keep this video running because it will take a while, but um, I will um, pause it. And then um, when the first kit is almost at the end, I will start it again. So you can see the switch to the next one.
So as you can see, it started at uh, the first, the, um, the first kit, the program change one. So we are back now, we are at the end of the first drum kit. Uh, let's see what he does. And he starts the second one, as you can see. So I will come back uh, when all the kits are done. Okay, so we are uh, one and a half hour later now and um, we are still not at 50%. So I will um, quit the video here and um, yeah, maybe I, I make a second one about the, the editing and exporting afterwards. Uh, see you guys.